Hello! Welcome! Um, I hope you enjoyed my two films in a row! Uh, yes, we we actually man we decided we were going to go see films and we actually managed to go see films! Uh, which is nice. Uh, which I think puts us ahead or just about right with our um, um, cards. Our Cineworld cards. Oh, um, the thing I couldn't remember the other day was Movie Pass. Um, I don't really know much about it, but apparently people are now spending more on it than they should be, and they're supposed to be saving the money, so I don't know. Um, I don't know if any other cinema franchises or uh, co companies in England, like View and some other smaller places, do like a, an actual you know, thing like this, because like, this is specifically Cineworld. Um, just trying to think of some other ones, uh, there's View. And there's another like bigger cinema company. Oh, Odeon. Is Odeon still a thing? But yeah, um, so uh, you know, I don't know of any other cinematic companies that are you know sort of national rather than like local franchises or whatever. I mean, because I guess a local um, cinema in you know, an independent could have its own thing going on. Um, but not necessarily, yeah. You know, pay £17 a month and get all the films you want. Don't think they probably could afford that if they're just a little local. But, like I said, for 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 us, you know, I've always, as I always say to people when, when they ask me about, it, like, do, do you have one? I said, well, I have one because I go to the cinema a lot. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for someone who doesn't go to the cinema a lot because, for me, it encouraged us to go more often when I got it. And we have had bad habits, we sort of tend sometimes go um, periods when we haven't... So I've got a thing here and I don't know if you know me. Well, we haven't really gone to the cinema, like, a lot and we feel bad about it. But then we go, uh, the next month we'll go, like, loads and it kind of bounces out. But, you know, unless you're someone who goes at least twice a month and not just to see the latest blockbuster or the latest, you know, film your favourite actor happens to be in or just, you know, oh that looks interesting, maybe I'll go um, with a person that might enjoy it as well. You know, it's like, if you're very occasional then don't go, but if you've been wanting to get, go to the cinema often then I would definitely recommend it. And no, I'm not sponsored, I just really, really um, like having a card and being able to go and get an evening's entertainment for free, essentially, especially now I've seen two... Now I've seen two in a row, that's it. Any movie I see now for the rest of the pay period, I think it's... I don't think it's dead on the first, but it's like within the first week or the last week. So, within well, the next couple of weeks, you know, I um, I get free cinema, basically. So, yay. But anyway, that's enough of that waffle. Yeah, it didn't, didn't work again today, which is annoying me. And I called up my agency and said, hey, work. And I go, you know, there hasn't been. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. Um, I'm available for the weekend. Hopefully, she said, like, Thursday, Friday um, should pick up because it gets busier, like, in town near away. Um, and I said, yeah, I can do the weekend as well, so fingers crossed. Um, but anyway, questions. Uh, if you're wondering about the lights, because it's actually daytime and I've got a curtain open. So there you go. You can see them all trying to side and I'm not quite showing you that side. We're in there. Yes. So anyway, book, questions. Uh, got to turn the page over. No, no, I did. Oh, I did. Yes. Don't worry about it. Oh god. Alright, imagine you and your best friend were starring in a new reality TV show. What would the show be called and what would happen in the first episode? Um, well... The reason I said oh god is because reality TV show. Um, I suppose... If we were to sort of take it back a bit and it be about where we met, where we worked. Because um, I think that would make an interesting, you know, reality. Because shop, I, think, I do think shop based or kitchen based um, reality TV as opposed to, uh, like, I mean... I don't mind the old talent show one. I don't really watch X Factor or that, but I've seen the odd one. I watched the um, Any Dream, like when they were looking for the new Joseph, because I like I happen to like Joseph. I think it's a good musical. Uh, I like the idea of something like um, 
you know, Dancing with the Stars or um, Dancing on Ice. Because I quite enjoy the dancing, I quite enjoy the ice skating, but it's all the talky bits in the middle that they go, oh, shut up, I just want to watch the pretty ice dancing. Um, so that kind of stuff doesn't work for me, but something where it's an existing business, and like I said, I've worked in retail and catering, there's inbuilt drama, there's inbuilt characters, so to speak. Um, so if we were to take, you know, my, my and Adam and our colleagues, former, um, I don't know. I mean, depends if you're talking about the opening of the store, which Adam wasn't there for. In fact, I was I was hired straight away when the store first opened, but I missed the first week because of um, not getting released from my previous job straight away. Um, so obviously, because I couldn't start straight away, I couldn't. You know, I didn't. Um, but the store was a CEX, which is actually supposed to be pronounced Kex, because it's um, Computer Entertainment Exchange or Computer Exchange. Um, the kind of <clears throat> the meaning is adapted a little bit with the sort of times, um, but as is the thing, everyone just calls it sex. Yeah, mate, I'm in the sex shop, which is made funny by two things. One, yes, it's a so funny to call it sex shop, but two, we we are the store is still currently number sixty nine, Queensway. There you go, sixty nine Queensway. Uh, so I guess the titles write themselves, you know, <sighs> Sexy 69 or, you know, I don't know if you include a dress on it, but you know, Sex on <laughs> sex on Queen's Way, <laughs> something like that, I don't know, um, uh, the, ex you know, exchanging, t uh, exchange times, I don't know, whatever. Um, wh what would the first episode be about? I guess the first episode of any any show is establishing your characters, is establishing who's who. Um, so given who was there for the majority of the time, you know, we've got obviously me and Adam, Red Sarah, and Mike, Martin, Jay, um, Jack. I guess, yeah, I mean, you'd probably just be establishing the characters and the archetypes and finding out who's who and, you know, you'd have the colourful customers and you'd have like, um, you know, Maurice and his hoys, and you'd have um, the Johns. We had Big John, Hat John, and other John. <laughs> yeah, we, we had a lot of characters. Um, you know, Jay was there for a little while. You know, the, the managers, um, you know, the various rotating cast. Um, Dan came in for a little while. I mean, yeah, I guess you're. I mean, if you're talking true reality and not just set up scenarios then it, it would just come from i mean and theoretically you could do it and in that store in particular and i guess other you know stores like that because there was a lot of cctv um there was no point in the store and including the um the back areas i think i think i'm pretty sure the cabinet you can see into the back of the cabinets as well so there's no point that wasn't covered by cameras anyway so you wouldn't even necessarily have to have cameras, even like people with steady cams, you know, like an actual obvious film crew, you could just mic up the car, you know, mic up the um uh the the, the store people, or, you know, the us. Uh and then like maybe you have a couple of other like, you know not like a parabolic, but like little you know, like not like not as big as a boom mic, but you could probably have like little pickup mics. Um, that could go around the store. I'm not. You can tell I'm not an expert on these kind of things. Um, and yeah, just let the let the drama play out. You know, have people come. Oh, bro, 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 bro. Well, you know, because all we have. There was um, one time when I think it was just like a supposed to be a straightforward trade, and this person was dealing directly with the manager. Or the manager had been called in to deal with the issue. Well, I can't remember exactly what happened. I wasn't privy to the beginning of the story. Um, but essentially, she was like, Oh, well, what if we do this? What was that? Can we sort this? And then she wasn't getting the deal she wanted. And he was like, No, I'm sorry. This is the way it is. This, you know, he's basically explaining it to her. I can't do it. This is how it happens to be. And I just turned around to him after she went. It's like, She was this close to so I'll be your friend. And he just looked at me and laughed. Um, 
So, would I want to be in a reality TV show? Probably not, because I don't like them. I don't, you know, endorse things I don't wouldn't do myself, you know. Um, but I don't. I can't really think what the show would be. But if if I was to base it on the job that you know Adam and I had, the one the one job we shared. Then uh, yeah, I mean the story writes itself. You you, you meet your you meet your cast, you meet your, your current staff, you meet your regular customers, and see what plays out. You'd have a, you'd have a Barney over you know things not being the right price. You'd have people like chucking shit around. You'd have like you know all like, you'd have people bitching each other out because oh my god this person's not me and that person's and and I don't know if it necessarily be a good idea just because some of the way we spoke about each other or some of the way we spoke about. A couple of people specifically um so uh, yeah i don't know we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll go with the title sex on 16 um se we'll call it you know sex on queen's way and the first episode will be just setting everyone up seeing what occurs because that's honestly the best way to do it you know you could get a narrative who would who would narrate it i mean because B Crumbs was just when I was working there. B Crumbs was just starting his career, like well, he he'd, he'd already started his career. He'd been doing the acting, but that's when Sherlock came out was during that period. So maybe get B Crumbs and just just pre Sherlock to do the narration. Because that'd be cool. Or I don't know, I don't know someone else like that. But yeah, but yeah. So um, it's a it's a silly question because I wouldn't necessarily want to do a live do a, a reality TV show. But if I were I'd base it on my old place and, and call it, you know, Sex on Queensway or whatever. But anyway, you can follow me here if you want. Like, share, like, subscribe, whatever. Do the thing. Um, press the bell. Uh, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. You are, you especially, are awesome. Oh, I also want to thank the three people that watched the last vlog without me having even advertised it. If you're watching this one, then thank you. You, you go. Yes, again. Completely appreciate you. Um, and yeah. Um, thanks for listening. I've been Michelle, you've been watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.